Y'all, so I'm supposed to hook up with this guy. He gave me the key to his hotel room. I woke up and he is not here. This is so embarrassingly awkward. I have no idea where this man is. We're actually friends. And the reason it's a hotel isn't some awkward, like, oh, he's married situation. He's just here out of town. And you just being a 304. You know, this whole narrative that these women like to carry about this friend. See, women believe today that they can just sleep with whoever and call them their friend. And that makes it okay. No, you just look like a low 304. That's what it is. And he probably came in and saw you asleep and saw what your face looked like and went the other way. Now, I'm just talking shit, but that could be the case. Men are not going to take women like this seriously. It's almost 9 a.m. His phone is dead. So my three theories are, A, either he went and hooked up with his ex, B, he fell asleep on his friend's couch, or C, he's dead in a ditch. Or D, your ass is just a 304 and he don't want nothing to do with you. You're not worthy and you're easy. Also, I'm super traumatized because I'm the girl who got bailed on in Miami and ghosted. And I told my friends that I was going to a hookup. They're like, oh, hope he doesn't ghost you. Ugh, fuck you guys. You notice how she keeps saying hookup? Hookup culture, hookup culture. Did they make a song yet? Hook up culture. This is all it's about for these women. And this is the same woman that's in another video talking about how rich men love her and that you should go to Target to, to find rich men. We've been communicating all day about the fact that this was happening. So the fact that he's not here is so disrespectful. I'm gonna leave in a little bit. I might take a little mini nap because I didn't sleep well, but keep you guys updated on what happens. I mean, I have zero idea where this guy is. Um, and the, the gag is, is that we're friends. Like this is more of like a friends with benefits situation. There it is. Friends with benefits. You really think that's adding to her value as a woman to be friends with benefits? It's dumb. It doesn't make any sense. But these are the same women that think that they deserve a real, valuable, sustainable relationship. And here you are in a video announcing to the world that you're a 304 and that you're just immersed in this hookup culture and that it's completely fine to just sleep with your friends. So the fact that he kind of, well, not kind of bailed on me, the whole ass bailed on me is really not cool. And I think this is the end of our friendship because what the hell, bro? Anyway, keep you updated, bye. Oh, it's the end of your friendship because he 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 ghosted you and he didn't show up. You're not the only 304 out there. You're not the only option out there. And like I said, you have a lot of videos you think you're so fine. You're not. You're average at best. Like a, like most women. But why are you even upset if he's just your friend and you were just supposed to have a hookup? Because like I say in all these other videos, I don't care what women say that come out of their mouth, women attach sex to feelings, attach sex to commitment. So she can sit there and scream, my friend, hook up all she wants to, but her ultimate goal is to try to have a, a relationship with this man. And she thinks that having sex with him is gonna make that a possibility. If he was just your friend and it was just a hookup, why announce it? Why make videos? Why tell people I'm gonna keep you guys posted? Why? Why is it a big deal? Why is it even why is it even a topic of discussion? Ladies and men, but especially ladies, read between the lines. Understand what she's saying. You know what she's saying. Is it really worth it? to just throw your poo nanny around like it's free food, like it's a free buffet? Lying to yourself saying, just my friend, just a hookup, when internally you know damn well that you want more than that? You're just wasting your time, you're adding more bodies, and it's just not gonna end well for you. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.